Harvey and welcome to this week's Your Soul Matters broadcast. The Your Soul Matters broadcast is a ministry of the House of Deliverance Church. I'm your host, Tatiana Cody. It is my hope that this broadcast and the message you're about to hear will inspire you, encourage you, and convince you that your soul truly does matter. It matters to God. It matters to us here at the House of Deliverance Church, and we hope that it matters to you. Without further delay, let's welcome our speaker this morning, Deacon Mark London. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I'd like to give honor to God because he's the head of my life, uh, my pastor, uh, Pastor Battle, and at least in respective places. Um, I can admit that this was, this was very, very, very trying for me. Uh, you know, when I was asked to do this, you know, they say you can give a testimony about it. How God has brought you through. I spent a couple of weeks trying to pick one. But as, the, as time progressed, I started realizing that I couldn't just pick one. God has used me and dealt with me in a way where all my testimonies matter. No matter where I've been, no matter where I was at the time in my life, He show me who he was at all times. Even when I wasn't thinking about him, even when he was the last thing in my mind, God said, I'm still going to give you a testimony in spite of where you are. Right. So, I said, Lord, I need a scripture to come from. He gave me 2 Thessalonians 1.10. When he shall come to be glorified in the saints and to be admired in all them that believe because of the testimony among you was believed in that day. Sometimes I go to church, I'm always looking forward to hearing the word, but I'm also looking forward to hearing the testimonies. Sometimes we don't value our testimonies like we should. Sometimes we sit down, well, mine is not as important or as elegant as that person. Oh, mine is not as uh, as extravagant as the person, but we serve a God of, of great complication, but yet God is simple. Yes. Very simple. Yes. We, when we start appreciating the little things, mm -hmm. that becomes your testimony. Mm -hmm. You know, one of my own, one of my biggest testimonies that I have CHF, which is congestion heart failure, and I have diabetes. If anybody knows what it's like to look down the barrel of death, it's me. Mm. At any day, at any point, my disease can take me out. Mm. I'm saying no. But I woke up this morning. Right. Yes, yes. I'm breathing. Yes. My heart is in rhythm. Right. I'm not hurting. Yes. I'm not complaining. Yes. <clears throat> I've been in places where I didn't want to be here. I didn't think I was worthy. I didn't think I was capable of delivering anything for God. And as I went through this journey, I said, Lord, I need something to give to the people. Yeah. Because I'm afraid, I was definitely afraid of talking to people about what God has done. Mm. And he gave me this weird acronym, TEARS. I say, well, we all cry tears. <laughs> <laughs> but the way he gave it to me is that T stands for transparency. Mm -hmm. We have to understand that transparency is important. Mm -hmm. Because the first person we, we have to be transparent, transparent with is Jesus. Mm -hmm. I have to open my heart and say, Lord, I am not the person that, right now, I'm not the person that you call me to be. But if I'm open to you, Lord, I know you will get me to that destination. Mm -hmm. That's but then, to turn around, be transparent with yourself. Now I have to admit that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. And that I have a God that's going to take me there. Then it's going to go to the brothers and sisters that believe. I'm transparent with them. Now they're open to me. Now I can see. You can see me. I can see you. Now, then the last person, the one person we kind of forget about from time to time, is the sinner. If they don't see me open to God, myself, my brother, how can they come in and say, can I do the same thing to you? Can I tell you about my feelings? Mm -hmm. 
Can I tell you about where I've come from? Yeah. Can I trust you not to judge me? Yeah. Can I trust you not to, to beat me down yeah. and tell me that I'm not worthy? Uh -huh. Because believe you not, the world told them the same thing. Uh -huh. They will not receive the same thing in the house of God. I decree that. I don't want that. I don't want that. God does not want that. We have to come with open arms. Okay? Two, he gave me... Now, this one was a little weird because he gave me two words. Empathy and empowerment. Mm. Come on. See, God has never done things just a singular way. It just seems like when God does things, there are multiple things that come out there that glorifies him. Mm. See, there are going to be times when every testimony is not going to be all peaches and cream. Mm -hmm. There are going to be some times where there are people... I'm hurt. I'm lost. I'm feeling alone. When I hear that, I shouldn't just hear that. The first thing I should do is say, what do you need? What can I do to help you? Let me grab your hand and pray for you. Let me anoint your body and where, where it hurts. Let, let come, let's come together. Let's touch and agree. And that's going to open. That's going to empower each other. I know where I get my strength from. Not only do I get it from the strength of the Lord, but I get it from the strength of the people. All right. Understand that we strengthen each other. The yes. Bible says, yes. iron sharpens iron. Yes. All right. And it sharpens the countenance of my friend. You are my friend. Yes. And if I go by and not see, not aware of what you are, how can I tell God that I've done everything I'm supposed to? How can I know that my mind and my ears and my eyes were open to everything that was around. If I'm just walking by somebody and don't not be aware of their countenance. Man. Jesus. I, I, can, I, I don't want to explain it to God. So I make sure. Everybody that knows me, the first thing I do is greet everybody and hug everybody. You can tell by people's hugs, by the way they look. Ask them, are you okay? And believe you me, sometimes some people put a face on them. No, I'm all right. But immediately after they say that, you can tell. No, no. no. <laughs> Something not right, you know. Right, right, right. Tell me what's wrong. Yeah. Let me pray for you. That's, that's what's important. Mm. Understanding that empowering each other is, is a great, great tool for us to have amongst each other. Then he gave me A, acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. See, this is some things that people don't get by. Understand, <laughs> some of us are saved. Well, a lot of us are saved. I'm going to say something. All of us are saved. Should I hope we all are saved? But we still know that there's still a little bit of Mark in there. We still know there's a little sister so and so in there. We still know that they, <laughs> they uh, <laughs> let me put my Holy Ghost down right now and come back to you later. <laughs> but you know what? Even in that, that acknowledgement right there, yeah. not only for myself, but us, will keep us from judging each other about where you think they are and where you are. Yeah. Remember, it is not a sprint. It is a marathon. That means that I don't, I don't I'm not expecting everybody. Everybody's not going to be on the same level. But one thing we're not, I don't want us to do is because you're at, you feel you're at this level. And I'm at this level mm -hmm. that you're better than me. Because mm -hmm. last time I checked, we serve one God. Oh, and he never puts God. nobody above anybody. Amen. Understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And at the end, I started getting the oh, I was like, well, this is ending pretty quickly. But we have to understand we need a resolve. Our resolve is Jesus Christ. Point blank, period. It's not going to see Dr. Phil, it's not going to see Ivana, it's not going to see all these. When I was going through, I didn't call Dr. Phil. Right, when, I didn't have, when I had pain in my body, I didn't call Ivana or the doctor. Well, I did call a doctor, but it ain't the, it ain't the, uh, the man. My resolve in everything, my prayers, my, my weakness, my, 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 
my journey yeah. is all because of God. Amen. Every testimony I have, every thing that I've learned, every bit of wisdom, every bit of knowledge, every bit of understanding I have is because of my resolve with Jesus. And at the end, yeah. at the end of that, I knew it wasn't God. I knew it wasn't me. It was but God. So you know what that made me do? It made me surrender. Yes. Surrendering to God mm. is key. Right. That regardless of what I am, who I am, what I've done, what I've done to people, I serve a God that forgives and has an everlasting love yes. and has grace beyond Beyond measure. Lord, I thank you. And I said, Lord, what do you want me to call this? I don't understand. What is it that you want me to call this? He said, simple as this. The fortification of the testimony. It strengthens us. It, re it gives us a, 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 a strong place. When I'm down, I need to hear your testimony. Don't value your testimony because you're going to feel a certain way. You're given a testimony to tell amongst the people and the sinner that God is, is, now, and forever be the answer to every and all problems. Understand that. Your testimony needs to be here no matter how great, no matter how little. Everything is for the good. That's all I have today. I just wanted to share with you basically about what the testimony was for me and how God has used me. And thank you for your time. Amen, amen. I truly hope the words you just heard was a blessing to your heart. As the speaker said, we all have testimonies. Don't be afraid to share them. God has given us a testimony to share and to glorify him. If you are looking to learn more about God, come visit us. Information can be found at our website, hodchurch.com. If you will need someone to talk to or would like to receive prayer, please call 1-800-741-SOUL or 1-800-741-7685. We look forward to seeing you next week for another inspired message and messenger. Until then, don't forget, your soul matters. <laughs>